Hey there everybody, it's Wayne D. Welcome to the website. It's WayneD.com. And today we're going to look at something I call over the top from the inside. And that's a method in transition that a lot of great players use. And it's something that I teach and I try to do myself. And it involves a hand path that moves outward toward the ball, at least toward the ball if not above it. Usually mark the end of the grip and watch where the hand path goes. You can see this is Paul Azinger. Now I'm going to put a lot of great players up here, and I think Azinger is amongst the great players. And if if he hadn't run into the medical problems that he did, he would have been multiple major champion because the guy was a great ball striker and had an unbelievable short game to boot. So we can see here a couple of things that you'll see common in players who use this method. I wouldn't really call it a method. I think really it just it's just the way the swings evolve growing up. Players go one way or the other. Some players like to drop the club down, hit from the inside. Now these guys will bring the right arm back in front of them and still hit from the inside because the key here is we're going to look at where the shaft is going to go and we're going to see that shaft go from a little across and flatten right out to the point where it even gets a little flatter than the plane and then the body rotation really is required you can see the knee left knee disappear while the arms are still up at P5 you can also see that at P3, the left arm is much more across the body than at 5. So you would, most people would probably call that an over-the-top type move, but when that shaft bends back on that right index finger, the body opens up what I would call 45 degrees left. We're going to delay that thing and create all sorts of pulling action on the left arm. And most of these guys who use this famously are way open at impact and exit very nicely around to the left. All right, so let's let's move on to a couple of different swings. I think you'll I think you'll like some of these swings. These players are great. So here's Julius Boros. We're going to see the same idea here, where he's going to come more outward toward the ball with the shaft shallowing back. Here's another great old timer, Tommy Bolt. So I really like to see is it my favorite swing, Ben Hogan, which we'll get to in a second. We'll see the same idea here. We're gonna see the hands work toward the ball. We're gonna see the shaft shallow out. Now we're gonna have a we got a right arm here that's adducting, meaning it's driving down and forward. In the over the top from the inside move, that adduction is a little more horizontal, meaning the right arm is moving more out in front of the rib cage as opposed to down the side. And we also are going to have right forearm supination, which is going to twist the arm and move the club head to the side there and that right shoulder is going to externally rotate and drive in front so the right arm stays in front body opens up and there's that nice left exit now here's a there's an old timer you might not have seen I did a video on him he's a he's kind of a quirky player but reminds you of Matthew Wolf. This is Jimmy Bruin, great Irish player from the 30s. And again, watch that shot, watch that shaft zing back. He was famously hugely long in his day. Led the Europeans, actually the Great Britain and Ireland to the only Walker Cup victory 
they had for many, many years. Another major champ. Let's take a look at Billy Casper. So Casper's here on the left. Let's watch that move coming down. Right there. So again, you can see how if I draw a line down the left arm, that's going to be above the ball. And you can see the shaft leaning back, staying back behind him. Look how open Casper's going to get here. A lot like Azinger. Real strong grip. Casper liked to draw the ball. And again, great hip depth. Great sidearm throwing action. That's what I like to, to see. Is that natural athletic sidearm throwing motion. Another old timer. Let's take a look at Roberto Di Vicenzo. Again, if I just run these, you can you can you can start to see. You pick it up right away. You see the hands out, shaft shallowing. Now we're going to get to my my favorite swing. This is going to be Ben Hogan from 1947. And again, it's classic. Got the hands coming out, shaft leaning back. You can see the shaft is flatter than the plane. Look how open that is. Look how left that exit is. Certainly doesn't get any better than that. And if that wasn't enough, let's take a look at Bobby Jones. So if there was ever a poster child for over the top from the inside, it's going to be Jones. Look how he wheels that, that club. <laughs> you look at that club go sideways and around, nicely open. That's gorgeous. Now another player that's really revered by golfers for his ball striking ability, and that's George Knudsen. Let's take a look at this picture here, and this is gorgeous. So that's even more pronounced than, say, Hogan was. Looking at low sidearm delivery, nice and open. You can see the left wrist working into flexion. See the left exit. Beautiful. Here's one that might surprise you a little bit. Let's take a look at Mr. Mo. So this is a this is kind of a sequence of Mo when he was a little bit younger. You don't see a lot of this because most of the video of, of Mo is him when he's in his 60s and even in the 70s. But here you can see he's got that action also. He's going to flatten that sh crap out of that shaft. It's going to point way out here. So 
So Mo famously said he was going to take the club down the line forever, but standing that far from the ball, you know that that's physically impossible. So you can see the ball take off and the club head dart over to the left, even though he does feel nicely extended down the line. So we're going in alphabetical order, so you know who's going to be next, right? It's going to be Big Jack. So here's the grip, there's the ball. You can see the grip going out. You can see the shaft from up across a little bit, flattens back. And there's the club. Trap behind the hands just right. He's going to hit a nice straight shot, depending on what he does with the face. The ball's going to curve a little bit, maybe left to right, maybe not. Here's another great old timer, Byron Nelson. Really flattens that shaft like crazy. Again, we see that right arm working down and forward. Nelson didn't get his right arm quite in front of him as much as some of the players, but boy did he shallow that that shaft. And just came in from a with his hands really close to the body. One of the great ball strikers of all time. A couple more swings, of course, be remiss if we didn't take a look at Arnold Palmer. Here's a good one. So again, you see Arnie Knight very deep cross himself in the backswing and then back out in front. Look at that action of the shaft. So we always see that the club head is going to wheel over to the side. How open Arnie is when he hits that thing. And again, the telltale left exit. And Arnie liked to draw the ball as well. A couple more. We got great champ, one of the all timers, Gene Sarazen. finish it up with five-time British Open champ Peter Thompson. Let me get a nice down the line of Peter. Here we go. So that's a lot of great players. I'm going to do another video with some more modern players who are going to utilize the same type of transition.